Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how you can enrich your subscribers attribute list in a PHP list with uh, Matomo Analytics. So I'm going to take the example of the Matomo Analytics database, but you can use any database that you have. Of course, uh, CRM will probably be more uh, interesting to use in order to fulfill the PHP list uh, database. As well, the example I'm going to show you expect that you have the authorization to collect and process those data of uh, your given visitor. So uh, we are in PHP list right now. And as you can see, uh, we have a subscriber database, which is composed of just one email address. So that's fine. But uh, with PHP list, you can add some attributes and attributes give you the possibility to enrich this given um, email address, or at least this given uh, user behind this email address can be enriched with attributes for, for example, you may have like center of interest, a certain age and so on and so forth. And after you can, of course, create lists in PHP list based on those given attributes and then target and send specific email to them. OK, so in order to create some attributes, all you need to do is to go over here and configure attributes and then add attributes. So it's very easy. In our case, we're going to have an example in which uh, we get uh, the position of the people that we are sending the email to. We're going to get his age and going to get a device type okay and those information the position age device type are coming to our from our website thanks to matomo analytics so in matomo analytics you have to know that it's possible uh, to get all those data so typically position and age are nothing more than what we call custom dimension so you can basically just define them like this and the email address you can get it through the user id if you have implemented this given uh, function and the device type is basically coming from uh, the simple user agent of uh, the user so here in our case uh, if we go here on uh, like mass example we have created a segment in order to just get all the visitors which have an age which is enter so this uh, information is sent through the custom dimension as previously explained and as you can see here I have like uh, three people I have Ken I have Alfonso and I have John so all those three people and all of those three people have some custom dimension here and those are the data I would like to send to PHP list so in order to do so I just need to click here on export the visit logs uh, get a TSV Excel file and if I click on export I will get all the data feed which include in fact all uh, the different characteristics of those visitors within a, a TSV file so if I go over here I will see that I get my um, my file such as the one that you can see right now so I have the, um, the ID visit the visit IP the visitor ID and of course all the different data that Matomo is collecting about this given uh, visitor so technically I could grab out all those data and send them uh, to PHP list as attributes I would just need for example here uh, to define an attribute which is name server time pretty something like this in my case I just created a CSV file in order to just pick up the email address in order to pick up just the device type that we can see uh, that we can see doo -doo -doo, right here right you see device type and I picked up as well the different attributes that I had different custom dimension which are I'm going to go over here which are dimension one employee employee employer and the age which is uh, 37 25 and 34 so all of those were defined actually up here as a custom dimension you see that custom ID, dimension id one custom dimension id uh, two and as well the user id so once i export all those data i can easily create a csv file such as this one where i get the email position age and device type so those three things that you can see here are nothing more than the name of the attribute in php list and i just extracted my user id over here that i named email and now as i have my csv file i can easily go over here and import subscriber and just click here on import by uploading a csv then in fact what is great here in php list it gives you the possibility to add the list so it's very easy uh, you can just give the name of the list that you would like uh, to be um, named in PHP list. So for example, in my case here, it will be uh, my website visitor. So by chance, I created already one uh, list which was named website list. So I just did it before doing this tutorial. So I'm just gonna go over here, click on website list, and then I go down the page, I click on browse. On browse, I can just uh, pick up the CSV file that I want. I can leave uh, those different uh, fields 
um, by default because um, I already worked a little bit on this CSV file. And as you can see here, you have the test output, which is clearly telling me, okay, I'm gonna uh, import all those emails and I'm gonna add as well the position, the age um, and the device type. So if I click here on confirm import, I will get in fact my three emails successfully imported within the database of of PHP list and as a result now I can send actually my list to all those different uh, users based on their different attributes uh, so I can really make like a tailor list and as you can see everything has been properly imported so I can uh, segment them based on age or device type and send for example an emailing to only the people which are on desktop so like this I can make like a long emailing or just on mobile and make a short emailing or just send my emailing to just a specific um, category of age and so on and so forth all of this based on the data that I succeeded in grabbing from uh, Matomo Analytics and that's it uh, for today. So if you would like actually to enrich your current database of PHP list, I strongly recommend you to create some attributes because to me, that's the key thing in order to send a specific email to some specific audience. Once more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to create your own uh, tutorial and share them on social networks.